So comment below if you're old enough to remember in 2007 when Apple released the Airport Extreme, which was Apple's wireless router to enable wireless connectivity inside of the home or the office, and then also had some print and storage server capabilities in there. But then in 2016, Apple discontinued it in 2018, took it off the shelves completely, and didn't really tell us why they got out of the wireless router game. But Parker Ortolani wanted to envision what it would look like for Apple to create another airport in 2023 or 2024 and see how it fits in today's home kit and smart home landscape. And I think it makes perfect sense. Let's talk about this render and exactly why it makes sense to bring the airport back in the Apple ecosystem. Let's get into it. Of the four big players when it comes to smart home connectivity, the four being Samsung with their smart things, then you have Amazon with Alexa, then you have obviously Google Home and Google Assistant, and then finally Apple with Siri and Apple HomeKit. And I would say that Apple was probably in last place for a good while in terms of how robust their connectivity was, what accessories they supported, what their protocol was, and, and I was one of those people that even though I was in the Apple ecosystem about four or five years ago, I was in the smart home ecosystem of Google and Google Home and Google Assistant because it just made the most sense, it had the most accessories, it was the most palatable at the time in terms of how easy it was to use, but slowly but surely, just how Apple always continues to do it, they let other people figure it out first, and then they bring it in and implement it the Apple way and make it work perfectly inside of the Apple ecosystem. And one great example of this is when Apple released iOS 16.3 just last week, and they brought new features into their HomePod mini accessory without even having to buy any new hardware. They just flipped a switch on a two-year-old device, and all of a sudden you had a humidity sensor and a temperature sensor without needing to have a smart thermostat in the actual room or in the home or in the office. And you're seeing this more and more. Apple is creating this interconnectivity in this web and this mesh network without us even noticing, right? You have your Apple TV 4K, which talks to everything, all the HomePods, including the new HomePod, which is about to release and drop this week. You also have all of your Apple devices like your iOS, iPadOS, and macOS devices all talking to each other inside of its own little network, inside of its iCloud account. And even that, when it comes to services standpoint, everything just continues to stack up on each other to make the experience that much more seamless. So when Parker put out these renders of a new Airport Extreme and what it would look like in 2023, it just makes absolute perfect sense. So he envisioned a new router that kind of looks and maybe has some features of a HomePod. So it looks like it has a speaker on the bottom. It has the plus minus volume controls and the volume rocker on top with a ton sensitive control that has some sort of LED, LCD or OLED panel to let you know what's going on. So maybe there's different colors for different situations and different ambiances. Maybe when Siri is talking, you get the multicolor look, very similar to the HomePod. But again, it is a wireless router as well. The idea here is kind of simple. It's to now that we have this home kit and the home app and everything talking to each other, to use this airport extreme or this new version of it to kind of bring everything together in your home or at the office. So in this, what he envisions is having the ability to have Wi-Fi 6E, which makes total sense now that the Mac Mini and the MacBook Pros have Wi-Fi 6E, and there is rumors that the iPhone 15 is gonna have Wi-Fi 6E. So that's just the new protocol that needs to be adopted and supported. Obviously, it's gonna work directly with Siri and all of your HomePods as well. It's gonna have iCloud private relay built in right there. And then also with Apple's new end-to-end -end encryption of all of iCloud, not just iMessage, it makes even more sense from a security standpoint because I'm sure Apple got out of the Wi-Fi game because there's a lot of security protocols, a lot of liability when it comes to using a router and making sure that the internet connectivity at your home or the office is as safe and secure as possible. So now adding all these security measures as Apple has been doing over the past few years, it just kind of makes more sense that Apple is now ready to get back into the router and the Wi-Fi game essentially. But of course, this would continue to have support for Matter Accessories, which is another new protocol, which is supposedly gonna open up the door to a lot of new accessories. You know, I haven't really played with much of the Matter stuff yet, but I'm sure it's going to help a lot. And then just how Apple does it, I'm sure the setup is gonna be flawless and simple. You know, the same way that you'd set up your AirPods, the same way that you set up your new computer when you transfer everything over very simply, or when you set up your new iPhone or your new Apple Watch, it's done very intuitively and very easily. So I'm sure Apple's gonna bring that over. And then also imagine an application that Apple creates natively to manage your Wi-Fi, right? Imagine how nice that's gonna be. I mean, if you're an Apple card user, you saw how easy and how nicely Apple brought over how it is to manage an actual credit card versus when you compare it to all the other bigger and more legacy actual providers of credit cards, they make everything so complicated versus on the Apple side, like this is the minimum you can pay, this is to pay off your entire balance and this is to pay ahead, this is your daily cash back, everything is right in front of your face and very easy to use. So imagine a management app to use on a new Airport Extreme, it's gonna be easy. Imagine seeing your upload and download speeds in real time, which I know is already done, but imagine it 
the Apple way inside of HomeKit or inside of the home application, be able to kick people off and on the router, be able to share it with as many people as you want, with as many different iClouds as you want. So I can just imagine Apple kind of going full tilt on a management application to manage your smart home, almost like it's a, you know, almost like it's a mini enterprise inside of your house. And then the biggest feature, which I think makes the most sense, is using the U1 and the U2 chips inside of the HomePod minis and the HomePods and allow these HomePods to be mesh points throughout an entire house. Now, I personally live in an apartment, so mesh network isn't really as appealing to me because my router reaches every corner of the apartment. But if you live in a larger house that has a basement and a second floor, or if you live in an apartment complex that's built out of complete concrete where it's a lot harder for the Wi-Fi signal to get through, then a mesh network makes complete sense. And it would be even easier if all you had to do was buy the Airport Extreme, and then all of a sudden every home part that you own inside the house becomes its own mesh point inside of the house, so you don't have to do anything at all. One thing that I would be curious about is how big those ranges would be, how far it would reach, and then also if Apple would maybe sell a modified HomePod Mini where it has an Ethernet port on the back of it. So let's say somebody wants to hardwire into the actual mesh network point, which is the HomePod Mini, which I know is something that Google used to do with their mesh network, which actually isn't really that good, and that's coming from experience. But adding an Ethernet port to the HomePod Mini would make some sense in order to make sure that you get a wired connection to certain points of the house. So in conclusion, yes, this is only a concept. Yes, there is no real rumor or leak or anything like that that indicates that Apple's gonna be getting back into this product category when it comes to Ethernet and Wi-Fi and routers and all that good stuff. But this concept just got me thinking that it makes a lot of sense. Like, use the current Apple ecosystem around you to create these mesh network points to make it easy for people to connect to a high-speed Wi-Fi. Be able to have an Airport Extreme as your main hub that also acts as a smart device or a smart speaker that's all powered by Siri. It's all managed from an application inside of the Home app and can just be updated alongside of your iOS updates and your iPadOS updates. In my opinion, it just makes sense. Maybe they'll create something like this where there's also maybe a dock for, let's say, an iPhone or a dock for an iPad to wirelessly charge and then that becomes kind of like your Nest Hub equivalent or something like that. All things that are possible with if Apple does decide to go into the airport extreme, if Apple does decide to go back into this product category. But for now, there is no real leak or rumor or inkling that that's gonna happen. But we can all dream and discuss in the comments down below if this is something that you would get. Do you miss the Airport Extreme? I know that I wrote an article which I'll link down below. A lot of people still use Apple's legacy equipment that has the three terabytes built in to be able to use as a time machine backup. And these were discontinued back in 2018 and now they aren't even supported at this point five years later. So if people are still using them because they are very reliable and secure and they work and they make sense, I don't see why Apple wouldn't bring this back, especially for a new generation of people that before didn't care about routers and now some people like myself actually does. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you did enjoy, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. I'm gonna leave Parker's information down below if you guys wanna check out the original tweet and his blog post. But that's gonna do it everybody. If you guys wanna watch more iPadOS, macOS, or iOS content, click on one of these right here. But until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here everybody. Peace.